2016, an unbelievable new treatment for breast cancer is probably going to give a lot of women and maybe some men some hope this morning. So joining me to talk about this breakthrough treatment, Dr. Kathy Tuzi from Tri-City Medical up in North County. Good morning. Good morning. Um, when, you, when I read this, I said, there's no way. Single dose radiation and that's it? Single dose radiation. So, and this is delivered at the time of surgery. So, um, early stage breast cancer, once detected er early, it can be treated with lumpectomy. Mm -hmm. After lumpectomy, patients need radiation. And that usually takes six to seven weeks of trips back and forth to the radiation oncology. It is very inconvenient. Um, I am so delighted that Tri-City Medical Center has this new technology where we can offer this to patients with early stage breast cancer at the time of surgery where radiation is delivered to the bed of the tumor right where it needs it, preserving the rest of the healthy breast tissue, preserving the rest of the um, internal organs, chest wall, muscle, lungs, heart, that are usually in the field of radiation on the traditional setting. So with this single dose intra radiation, radiation is precise, so it's efficient. It's delivered in 15 minutes right to where it's needed. Patient's lumpectomy is done, radiation is delivered, we do the reconstruction, patient goes home. They're done. It is safe. Two very large clinical trials have shown the efficacy and the safety of this treatment. And it is amazing. And the data mm -hmm. is actually very comparable. Okay, so let's let's back up for just a second here. This sounds like a miracle pill. A miracle pill. I mean, is how efficient, how effective are the studies showing that this single dose is? The study is showing that compared to full breast radiation, four years recurrence rate with full breast radiation and intraoperative radiation therapy is equivalent. It's about 4%, similar to whole breast radiation. But think about it this way, Lisa. You, the, the patient gets radiation right where it needs it. Yeah, because right anybody that knows anything about radiation knows that radiation, it goes everywhere. It destroys everything in its path, like almost yes. like chemo. I mean, it just destroys everything. That's yes. the point of it. Yes. So to have it pinpoint is amazing. Pinpoint and safe. Here's the other thing you need to know about the safety of this. At the time of the surgery, we actually put a device in to protect the internal organs right under our site so that the lungs, the heart are protected and the only area that gets the radiation is right where it needs it. Wow. And okay. so, and then they, we, they're done. And so the rest of the breast is protected. Okay, so we're, we're saying there is some criteria for people who yes. would be eligible for this. Now, early stage breast cancer, so what does that mean? Like, state, what, stage one? Right, stage one and sometimes stage two. It really depends on the age of the patient. What the age? Uh, 40 and older and can be actually fitting into the protocol. Um, How about 40 and younger? 40, yeah, that needs to go into under clinical trials. Clinical trials, However, okay. um, the tumor has to be a certain type of tumor. It's not for every patient with breast cancer. There's a strict criteria that they have in and age is a criteria uh, the size of the tumor is a criteria uh -huh. and the type of the tumor is criteria so early detection is the key when you detect this early yeah. so we can give the least invasive procedure to the patients with lumpectomy with radiation with protected radiation and avoiding any kind of damage to the rest of the breast All right. side effect it, this is amazing so I, I I want you to tell everybody at home because you know this is breast cancer awareness month we're in October you know lots of women out there are you know, really paying attention right now and getting those screenings as they should be. So uh, what is this treatment called, first of all, so they can ask their doctor if they are qualified? What's it called? This is called single dose intraoperative radiation therapy, also known as IORT. IORT, yes. single dose radiation single to treat dose. certain types of early stage breast cancer. Yes. This is an amazing breakthrough. Uh, Dr. Tuzi, thank you so much for coming this morning. My I appreciate pleasure. it. Thank you so much. Of Lisa. course. Thank you, KUCI, for giving me this opportunity. Of course. All right. We're going to send things over to Dave, St Dave Scott. He is here uh, to talk about